Who else was there? But then, who was it? I mean, who would the only person that would benefit from hiding the magazine? Poco. If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Poco. I got Toko. it. It had to be Toko, right? <laughs> Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Was he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? I don't think Hina knows what to think. Because you got Hiro who's confessing to the killing, but then Toko was there too now. We're finding out. Or it's very presumably that she was there. Why would I have... Wait, but more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? But yeah, I want to know why you put the mag... Like, you were there. And then... I also want to know what that second bottle is. There's a second bottle missing. Hero just admitted it! That's right. I killed her. Hero, shut up. You might just be a moron. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. There was a second hit. Who hit her the second time? What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. I wouldn't say that. I'm not there yet. I'm just saying the first bottle didn't do shit. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Just literally repeat everything you said. Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. Shut up and do what we say. Here's the real kill. I have to prove that. Just shut up. We're trying to save your life, dumbass. There's more fun. Thanks, man. I didn't want to, but I did it. How do you I bullets? grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. Love bumper. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. Yes, I believe that. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. Okay. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I don't feel like Sakura would go down with one hit. I didn't want to, but... Yeah. I grabbed a Monokuma and I hit Ogre from behind. You hit her from behind and you only hit her once. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's she was wrong. clearly hit twice. She was clearly hit twice. If Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Huh? Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe I, her. Why, why'd you say it like that? But... <laughs> I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Come, hero. I wonder why. Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Two equals two. Thank you. I fucking hate you people. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? Because I touched her caved-in skull, Toko. I'm Kyoko. I touch dead bodies on the daily. She was attacked twice with two like Monokuma. It's not just That's because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Kyoko, you can just say there are two missing. You don't have to say it's suspicious. Once you understand that point, You'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Okay, you don't want to you don't have to treat us like we're idiots. You can just tell us. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, 
along with the chess piece it had inside. Okay. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. Yes. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. Thank you. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. Because of the chest correlation. Okay, I guess we can't. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. Okay, maybe it's unfair to assume because it's not fact, but you can realistically think it's true. Oh, this seems unclear. The connection must be the object of the monocus. I think I can do this for a chess piece. Chess piece. Chess. Penis. Peace. Give me your ease. I demand to see your ease. Give me your ease. Give me the E. I need this E in my life. Give me these E's. I need these E's in my life, you whore. Now I understand. That means two things. That's it. The chess pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. Yes. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. Thank you, Dr. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knight, if I remember. Uh, so, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. I love chess. I have a video on chess on my channel. I should do more, but I kind of got lazy on editing. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, <laughs> and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. The queen is missing indeed. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene, while well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? That's what's in the bottles. They're broken, and we're saying two broken bottles, and we got a missing piece. Yeah, Shogi is way better. I don't know what that is, but shut up, Hero. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> so, let's say a bottle did go missing. Okay. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. Hmm. We are, we are saying there are two head wounds. We are saying two bottles. Connect the dots. This has everything to do with this. That case. bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. Then explain why she has a second head wound. Explain. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Because I said Think so. about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. It was broken. I got it! That's very excited. The bottle must have been broken. With a broken bottle. What makes you so sure? Because we did a science experiment, remember, folks? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports We it. did some weighing shit. Huh? Huh? I'm Tina, and I'm just going to accuse everyone and then make random noises for some reason. I actually did nothing in this case. That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? <laughs> this a broken bottle and evidence proves it is. We get beforehand, our science experiment. Bottle experiment. Present to I got it! We had fun. Earlier. Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We fucked. I mean, what? <laughs> we compared the weight of the broken <laughs> bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. <laughs> uh, I, 
I should shut up. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was more than one bottle. There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Uh... <laughs> so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. I love the ex two bottles! But someone did their best Ooh. to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to do this? But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. How do you do that? I guess this would probably would have been, yeah, Toko on the second one. Because, because Hero probably would have done a better job of getting rid of most of the pieces. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? To prove there wasn't two attacks. Because of what it would reveal about the case. Well, the second amount of the volume of the case used by... Sakura's second attack. Some bullet fishing on it? What the fuck? The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. Yeah. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. And we're lucky that she didn't get hit in the exact same place twice. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Because he would have just left both bottles. Excuse me. Because if he did, he either would have cleaned up both bottles or just left them both in. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? That's good. And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Why else would you hide it? Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but... But there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it! Oh, yeah? No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Hero, you were just ready to take the bullet five seconds ago. Shut up! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were planning <laughs> okay. you Okay, thank you, Gabe. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Uh. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it! What? Okay, fine. Let's hear it. <laughs> I gl- you know what, I'm happy that Bianca is not talking a lot of this trail. Fuck that guy. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. I don't know. Why do I not believe that? So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You saw her. You could have said that forever ago. Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? Okay, I wouldn't be like on this one. You couldn't tell us that at the beginning? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. I can actually buy that, you're kind of a moron. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? I no-clipped out the wall. You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. Or... Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous! Oh, isn't there a locker? Whoa, why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin! No, it's not ridiculous at all. There's a hide in the rec room. She left it there for anyone to find. Well, then like, uh... It's a lie! I admit nothing! I hate you! I curse you! No, no, no! That's enough! I admit nothing! I curse you! I curse I you! Reload. There we go. It's a lie! 
Why? That's enough. It's a lie. I admit nothing. I gotta scroll through my bullets. That's enough. Locker room handprint. This Fuck your couch. Prove it. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? As if they... They must know, have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. How messy is that locker that you could leave handprints on there for, what, X amount of time? Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? Okay, I won't even recognize my own handprint, but sure. No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Do we actually have a, a copy of the handprint? Did you pencil it in or something, Kyoko? Yeah! Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. I feel like Biakia's contributed the least amount so far in this trial, and that includes Aoi just sitting there accusing three of the six people here, and then going, Ah! Ooh! E! Right! Wrong! Ah! Which, I, which I mean, to be fair, I guess. That was intentional, but I don't know. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Hero, can you shut up? Then you killed Sakura. Then you did it. No, you did it. I don't know. What are you bitches suck? I'm tired of it all. No, I swear, there's no way. Out with it. I probably I... did kill her. Are we just gonna suck? I mean. I don't know. Straight up again. Wait, what do you mean probably? Because Sakura seems strong enough that she could take a couple bottles to the head. She probably have a concussion normally. Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Kiko sound a little bit more direct on that. Talk now. After I read Sakura's note. I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. I... Would it not make sense for Toko that if she saw a uh, hero in there that it's like, if they're both there, they can say, oh, Sakura's not going to kill us because if she kills one of us, the other's going to see it. And if she kills us both for whatever reason, we all know she's going to get caught immediately. I mean, maybe they were thinking, uh, we just want to protect our lives, even if it's not logistical. I feel like a lot of people forget in this game, like, hey, the goal is to survive. So, you know, strength in numbers, as long as we're in a group, we can, we can, we can probably get away with staying alive as we saw. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> so after are those two left, really gonna I get to live? Out of the locker yeah. And put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did. You put it back, upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. I'm starting to become convinced Biaki actually killed her. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? Well, that bitch is terrifying. After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. And when I turned around... There was Sakura, covered in blood, and staring right at me! That was kind of intimidating. When I saw all that blood, I fainted. Right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Mm. Her. <laughs> yep. Oh, joy, we get to go back to her. It. it was your fault after all! My fault? Master's fault? 
When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! I... what? What? Whatever. Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. What? So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. <laughs> and, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. Okay. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! Well, I mean... Not everyone likes to wake up to someone who's covered in blood first thing. No! She's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Uh... Well, if Byakuya dies in the next chapter, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't fucking know where this is going. Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. Can we kill Byakuya anyway? I don't like him. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Yeah, when you murder people, yeah. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Sure. Hey, come on! That's... you know... I mean, how hard did Hero hit her? But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! Damn, stop calling her Ogre. And then he well then, that's that! Let's start the boat! I thought for sure you'd have some word fear on that What's one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this! You really want to gear this vote on. No, not quite yet. Biaki is actually holding it up. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. I was half paying attention to it, to be honest. So, I missed it. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. I guess, yeah, you, what was it? She said that Sakura approached her collapsed body and then smacked her. So did she go back? Your wish is my command, darling! God damn it. Oh, really, is it? I'm gonna kill Sakura is. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything here. You're confusing, the, you're accusing everyone, and then you're not accusing them. And all of a sudden, don't... Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! That's and where did the said. attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shelf! Then why no, is she slouched over back on the chair? Cause your ass ain't dragging her We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. Fuck you, Byakuya. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Why would she lie? Jennifer Jack's probably the most truthful person in this room. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. Yeah, I guess there was that blood spill or whatever by the show. Yeah. I got it! 
Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? Yeah, because Genocide Jack is going to carry Sakura's thick, muscly ass over to the chair. All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. I can't believe that. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Sakura didn't die. Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? Sakura wasn't killed by those. So the head trauma didn't kill her. Are we not going to get into the poison? But, but... And I'm, I'm not starting to become convinced Byakuya didn't kill her. Because if Byakuya did, then he wouldn't have bothered bringing that up. So what the fuck is going on? Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has is yet to be turn explained. Is this gonna turn into it being, uh, Hina poisoning her? Is this what this is turning into? Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Is this gonna be the ultimate backstab of backstab? Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. You, okay. <sighs> So she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. And I got the locker. I saw it myself. Because we faintly remember the locker Even being before open. We opened I don't, the door to we the, the locker. Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Huh. <sighs> okay, then. Where was she hiding? She probably wasn't hiding. I don't know. What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I... I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying! I don't... No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. You didn't say she didn't tell her story was finished. You were gonna ignore Hero the whole time. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And... So, even if she didn't die, she would've had a, a pretty bad concussion after being struck twice in the head with bottles. Well... well I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Oh yeah, I was just talking about the, the, the poison. Was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of any. <laughs> shot to her head. No, the that's thing wrong. is just that she puked blood. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. Yes, because two strikes to the back of the head somehow resulted in glass shards flying over her head into her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. I'm gonna uh, pretend you didn't search the inside you of her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! Says the one who likes to pin them up on the wall. Whatever. No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. I also like this face, as if he's kind of like, No! That's... No... No kink shaming. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body, most likely 
Kakashi was poisoned. Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned?